Hello everybody, my name is Latra, and this is Mia Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. We are in the process of making games for my three biggest IPs. We did Industry 6 Dig, we did Candy Crash 6, up next we're going to do the Derby, but my main development team is in a little training right now, um, so while we do that, I'm just making a, an add-on here for Dragon Rider 3, just to make sure we're selling something while, uh, <laughs> while our main team is in training. Um, so let's just release uh, pre-release for the press here. How's this training going? So they're doing programming. I think I already did um, the game design training. Okay, Ark Survival developed off the market. This was a surprise hit. Sold pretty well. Um, moved almost 400,000 of my consoles, which is nice. Um, speaking of my consoles, they're selling pretty well, although, well, I guess the they had a big drop off. The extra sales were from the holiday season there. So that's that was to be expected. All right, so hardware team, let's blast them through training one more time. Um, it's interesting, the these two games, Industry 6 Dig, Candy Crash 6. Um, they're my two, two, my two biggest IPs. Candy Crash 6 is actually a bigger IP. And we actually put Candy Crash 6 out for, for consoles or more Consoles for Candy Crash 6, how do I put this, um, have more users. Because I, I didn't make this for any of my own consoles. Um, but Industry 6 is selling way better. But, as you can see, it's game of the year. It's also reviewed better and overhyped work for it. So I don't know which of those is really making the big impact on that review score, but something definitely is. Interactive movie genre. All right, um, so we're we ready here to put this out. Yeah, let's put this out. Finish development. 70 to 90. That should be fine. We can self-distribute this. Next week works for me. No experience gained. I mean, this is an add-on, right? Um, but hey, that's three of my consoles. That's good. This should sell well because um, Dragon Rider 3 sold well. 91% review score. There's a lot to like there. All right, so let's do an update four. We got, we're probably way behind on updates. Oh, not that far, I guess. Candy Crash 6 could definitely use an update. All right, so let's put them back in the development room. Develop, ooh, we got some commission work to get through, but eh, not a big deal. The Derby, five. I think we're up to five for the Derby. Yes, this is our racing uh, IP. Go with size A, I believe. I believe the racing engine is up to date. Ooh, is it though? I don't think it is. Because the new thing just came out. New graphics just came out, right? Yeah, modern 3D vector graphics. Oh, actually, it wasn't up to date, period. <laughs> so let's uh let's get that up to date. Uh, let's do a game report here while we wait. Never mind. I forgot that add-ons don't get game reports. Market research. What's that going to tell me? Uh, any commission work in any of these other rooms? And we got some commission work in the graphics studio. So let's plow through that. You know what would help? If I actually made some copies of this game. It would probably be good too, right? <laughs> Just a hunch. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that would be helpful actually produce some copies um all right so let's get this engine done and then the derby four or five five four five five definitely five <laughs> all right and update for the add-on yeah i mean it's selling really well right now it's all better than candy crash six is yeah candy crash six is just it's just disappointing I'm just straight up. There's nothing else to say about it. And maybe part of the problem is releasing it like when Industry 6 was already out and selling well. But I feel like you can have multiple hits out at the same time. It shouldn't That shouldn't be a problem. All right, so this is going to be a tech level 3 game. So Macintosh, personal computer, chair Wonder Player, and the Kateri STT. Let's just take a look at the dev kits. It's by active users. Yeah, these are all tech level one, two. This is the highest level three. 
It's not really any better than the Kateri. So everything looks good there. We have anti-sheet now. We might as well throw that in. Even though, even though a lot of the time it's not really going to make sense to put it in, but we're going to put it in anyway. Um, the problem with making good racing games right now is you can't get technical points until we unlock, like we can't get a lot of technical points, I guess I should say, until we unlock the mocap studio, which is unlocked just through time. I think it's November of 93. It gets unlocked, I want to say. I, I might be wrong, but I think that's the date where it gets unlocked. And obviously, we're not there yet, right? We're three and a half years from that yet, so unfortunately. All right, close those out. Oh, my QA is in training right now, too. And they're done. Slide them back. Beautiful. That's everything we need to do. Guess we can train these folks again. Might as well. <laughs> they don't have anything else to do. We muzzle well train them, right? All right, so we don't have much in the support queue. Oh, we got a legendary technician. All right, Karate Master 2 off the market. Made 17 and a half million. Legendary technician. I don't really need any more technicians right now. Research team has nothing to research. So let's train them. Research at the bottom. Perfect. All right, so this team isn't doing anything. Um, but yeah, let's do an update for Industry 6. Well, it's already had two. Um, and Dragon Rider 3, the horde, it just goes up. I'm not used to seeing... Usually it starts low, peaks, and then falls again. It hasn't started to fall yet. And I feel like typically, oh, never mind. It started the fall. Durban 5, during a spontaneous brainstorming session with your staff, some good ideas for your new game were born. Developers immediately got to work and implemented some of these ideas, 130 extra gameplay points. But like I said, what we need is technical points, which we can't get yet a lot. Oh, Dragon Rider 3. Oh, Dragon Rider 3 is sold out because we did not check the automatic production button. That is not a big deal, though. Advanced 16-bit sound. Their engine feature. Um, okay, let's do commission work here. Go through those. We're just waiting for the training um, of the research team to be done. We'll put them back in research, and obviously they will immediately start doing some research. Because it already is queued up. Perfect. All right, and do some special marketing. Yeah, it's at 100, so we'll do some special marketing. Beautiful. Oh, that was really quick. <laughs> overhype? Sure, let's do some overhype. Hopefully it's good if we're overhyping it. We don't want to lose fans by overhyping a game that is not great. Let's try Let's try to keep Candy Crash 6 going strong, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing all that well. All right, overhype did not work. We got a new processor. This game is ready. Let's just leave it for a minute here. New hardware, 12 megahertz CPU. We're just waiting till we get a couple more good Tech Level 3 hardware things. And then we're gonna make a uh, Tech Level 3 handheld. We could do it now, but I'm waiting for better tech, essentially. All right, up to 80 to 100 estimated review score. So let's self-distribute this. Yeah, getting better at some things, I guess. Yeah, 93. That's pretty solid. All right, so let's make that here. Produce game. The Derby 5. Let's go up 200,000 as a base. And 12,000 blocks, 5,000 collectors. I find we never sell as many um, collectors and deluxe as I would have liked. And do a game report here. Mission work here. Um, what could go for a demo right now? Oh, lots of things. Cities. Yeah, I mean, Cities is... Cities is a console exclusive we made that is not selling well. We're going to lose money on that. It's the first game we've lost money on in a really long time. Um, we're in the summer slump right now, so all our sales numbers look bad. 
All right, so we just did three established IPs. So I feel like I want to do a new IP now. We could do interactive movie. That makes sense, right? That's that's a new IP. But we need an engine for it, obviously. So go with the best tech level three and the best level tech level two that we have. Just in case we want to make a tech level two game, right? Um, we'll go with Chair Wonder Player for this. Call this the movie engine. And uh, yeah, all right. While they're doing that, this bunch want to update now. Let's do another Industry 6. It's selling strong enough, I feel, that it's worth doing that. So the the um, demo for cities did work, but it's kind of a dying game <laughs> anyway. As is Dragon Rider 3, but we'll see if we can keep it going for a little bit longer. With the demo, a little late in its life cycle for a demo, in theory. Oh, it worked. It quite worked. I apologize if you can hear a dog barking or scratching at the door in the background. We are dog sitting an extra dog right now. And it apparently doesn't realize that I closed my door for a reason. <laughs> All right. Um, no, there's nothing to bug fix. We're not making a game right now. All right. Large booth. What could use some hype? Uh, Crash 6, Cities. Which consoles could go for some hype? Some of these consoles are really low in hype, but they're also really old consoles I don't really care about. But maybe it would be worth hyping them. Wheel support. Oh my god, it's taken a long time to make this engine. Much longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> All right, update for the Derby 5, which is how is it selling? Pretty well. Pretty well, actually. Better than Candy Crash 6, that's for sure. <laughs> Which is like massively disappointing if I'm being real. Wheel support, which would have been good for a racing game, which we just made. Well, uh, commission work, yeah, we'll blast through this. It'll take like no time at all. Or shouldn't take any time at all, at least. Eh, more research. I'm just going to leave them there, though. I feel like there's going to be something else to research coming soon. I don't know why I think that, but. I do think that. Let's do another Derby update right away. Just back-to-back -back updates. All right, new game. Interactive movie. God, what topic would work for an interactive movie? Just something generic like fantasy, maybe? As long as it's not... I'd say as long as it's not saturated. It's extremely saturated. I don't know, maybe aliens? Have we done aliens yet? Oh, we sure have. Go aliens and like space stations. Space. There's space and space stations. Space stations, spaceships, space. And we'll call this Deep Space 10. Um, adults probably for interactive movie. I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't usually even bother making an interactive movie game. I'm not sure why I am this time. Curiosity, I guess, more than anything. What do we got for tech level three or better? Just the stupid Akun. Akun Archimed. Which we're going to pass on, I think. Turn on all languages. Boom. Looks good. I don't know where to put these because it's random. And I don't wouldn't even know where to put them. It wasn't random because, like I said, I don't usually make interactive movies. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not even sure why I am this time. Just because, I guess. But hey, if you're enjoying the video, enjoying the series in general, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. I'm trying to get ahead of the algorithm, you know what I mean? Um, do we want research just chilling? I guess we could train these folks. And we're going to need to do some serious marketing for this game. Let's just do one game magazine. Then two, th two, three TV spots. It's just, it's a little more expensive to do it this way, but it's less busy work on my part. I don't have to change what they're doing. I don't have to babysit them. 
Okay, I lost a little bit of sound points, but I mean, 13 sound points, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make or break the game. <laughs> I would hope, anyway. All right, screw it, we're gonna train them one more time. I know as soon as they start training, something's gonna pop up, though. Like, I know it, you know it, we all know it. It's, it's inevitable, <laughs> or it feels inevitable. And what kind of game are we gonna make next? The trend will be changing in six weeks. Uh, market research thinks it's going to be a role-playing game. So let's make sure our role-playing engine is up to date, which it is most definitely not <laughs> at the moment. Nowhere near up to date. We are multiple things behind. There was no tech level three at all there, which is fine. That's not the end of the world. I mean, that's what we have the team there for. All right, Dragon Rider 3 off the market. 43 million in profit. That is an extremely profitable game. Is that one of my most profitable games? Or one of the most profitable games? Uh, no. This is revenue, not profit. Yeah, so there it is. Third. And actually... This is an arcade cabinet, so it's my most profitable normal game. Runner 2, though. Man. Hats off to you. July 1982, that was a long time ago. That would have been crazy profits for that for that time period. Like, absolutely nutty. Should probably do another arcade cabinet. We gotta have all these technicians just sitting around twiddling on their thumbs. Or, I guess... I think we're at the point where arcade cabinets start going down in popularity, right? So maybe instead, what we can do is we can just make a huge um, console development room that's big enough for all of them. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's big enough. All right, and change the room, automatically furniture. How many desks is that? 34, how many do we have? We have 32, that works. Let's train them. The new console is coming soon, but it's not, we're not at that point quite yet. All right, so deep space 10, everything's going well. No new research again, surprisingly. So we might as well train them again. All right, so yeah, cities. <laughs> Lost money, sold 63,000. It was a building game. It was our first and still only building game. It was exclusive for the Wonder Box. There was a lot of reasons why that game failed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, one one game that loses money is not going to make or break me, right? I'm, I'm well, my head is well above water. Oh, racing is the trend. That's not a role-playing game. Lied to me. All right, Lachera Hockey 89 off the market. Made 11 million. This was uh, exclusive to my consoles. Made 300,000. Should probably do another exclusive soon. Maybe I'll do an ex I'll try another Lachera Wonderbox exclusive now that it's got a much bigger user base. <laughs> right? All right, so we were wrong about the trend being role playing game. Role playing game is fairly popular but it's also fairly saturated uh, i mean we could do building game survival game strategy but i mean we already have industry six dig on the market eco sim how much uh, value does crazy games tycoon have 0.7 ip value eh, i mean we could do that though right let's make sure that engine is up to date well, I just want to look at something here. I just want to look at something. Uh, game report. Crazy Games Tycoon. Yeah, it's mostly gameplay that it wants. It doesn't want a lot of technical, so we should be able to have a decent one, right? In theory. How's this engine looking? Has it been updated lately? Not really. Maybe actually it's not that bad. I've seen worse. 
I might only make this tech level two though, possibly. And just make it for my three. Right? Oh, we should call this something other than sim engine. Since sim engines for actual sims, whereas this is an eco sim, aka a tycoon game, right? Light gun support. Apparently uh, works for interactive movie. Where are, we at? Where are we at? Deep Space 10, pre-release for the press. Yeah, 60 to 80 is not bad. I'm okay with that. As long as it's at least 70 so we get the achievement, right? That's all I really care about. So I'm not going to overhype this. Sound team is still working. So let's get one more person in this sound room. No, never mind. We have no sound people available. <laughs> so that's a, that's a negative on that note. Let's train this group again in hardware. They're going to be so good. They're going to be so ready. All right, so finish development. 70 to 90, perfect, because we only need 70 to be uh, to get the achievement. I mean, if it's over 80, I'll be thrilled. 83, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. New Space 10. I don't know if this is going to sell 100 or 200,000 copies. Let's just do 150,000 to be safe. Right? Just in case. Nothing to research, man. I feel like I should have put out the, a new console already. All right. Holiday season's coming up. That'll really boost sales. Um, so we're waiting for Tycoon Engine here. So would we want to blast them through a quick training while we wait for that quick graphics Ooh, okay we got uh we got research to do now um gameplay let's do the gameplay first let's do an update for the deep space 10 how's it selling yeah pretty decent Considering I didn't have uh, very big expectations going into it, so I'm happy. Should I just have them automatically trained? There is a button for that, isn't there? Start automation. Oh, you don't get any benefit, so you can go sit there by yourself. <laughs> Think about it. Think about what you've done. All right, what could go for a demo? Dragon Rider 3 The Horde? Sure. How's the training coming down there? Looks like they're done. Oh, best graphics, best sound, developer of the year. Ah, oh, I did not win publisher of the year. Derby 5 is game of the year. Beautiful. We are now a legendary game company. Awesome. Maximize my studio reputation. I don't know if I've ever gotten that one before, honestly. What's the, the reward for that one? So... The interactive movie achievement, it's for mobile games sold, so maybe I shouldn't have stressed over that one. Because, I mean, I mean, eventually I might make mobile games, but we're not at that point yet, right? Plus 1% training speed for a legendary game company. That's, a, that's good, actually. That's a good one to have. All right, so. Crazy Games Tycoon 3 coming up. We'll leave a B plus for now because if I remember correctly, <laughs> eco sims typically don't use a lot, right? Um, let's yeah, let's make this tech level two. This will be probably like my last tech level two game. If I had to guess, do I really want to do that? I mean, yeah, let's do one more. Last one. Last one. All right, so let's uh, so move that that way. Boom, boom. That. Look at the letters for two and see what they say, actually. Too short, more innovation for character design. 
too short. Renovation, better care. Well, that's what I moved, so. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, only 17 to 20 applies. So, well, 18 to 20 with the controller support. So this game, it's not going to be amazing. But it'll be cheap <laughs> and quick to make, relatively. Right? Yeah, Derby 5 selling well. Deep Space 10 selling pretty well, too, honestly. Oh, well, let's see if there's a extra sound person too that we can hire at some point i'm going to need a bigger sound room but i'm not going to worry about that right now unlucky yeah we'll pass it can wait <laughs> we don't need that person right this second do tv spots till it's done um do another derby update Let her rip. Actually, instead of letting her rip, Deep Space 10 just keeps going up. I guess holiday season just started, though. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I am now a legendary game company. You've heard it here first, folks. <laughs> so we'll get the Crazy Games Tycoon 3 out next episode. I'm pretty sure once these two are done, I think it'll be time for a handheld so there's the better CPU. We already have the better memory. Better graphics chip is one of the things we're working on. We already have the better sound chip. And I think we're working on that one. So the only one we don't have is this one, but I'm not sure if there is one. So yeah, we're going to make a new handheld. As soon as these two researches are done, it'll be good. We'll continue to put out some good games. Um, maybe I'll start looking into some other things like, can we do like bundle games and... Like, have I done a remaster yet? Like, I feel like there's a lot of things I haven't done this run. Like, remasters and stuff like that. It's just little things. Uh, retro game. I don't know if I can do a retro game yet. But, like, cell phone games, MMOs, free to play. We can't do that yet. Yeah, we haven't done a game bundle or a bug budget game or add-on bundle, remaster. Now, not all of these are available to me right now, but some of them definitely are. Or publish a game from an NPC company. You know, just things I should do for the achievements, right? Anyway, we'll cross that bridge next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I want to shout out my patrons. Thank you very much for the support. Patrons, if anybody would like to support me on Patreon, links in the description down below. Also, a link to my Discord. Um, if you're interested in talking about games, Mega Games Tycoon 2, or any games in general, we got a good group of people there. We do occasionally play this game multiplayer as well. Most importantly, they'll be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.